Meet Emily Park. She's a philosopher and an astrobiologist at the University of Auckland. She's concerned with the definition of life and what exactly is life. But, like all good philosophers, she's concerned with ethics, the ethics of protocells, and a cautionary note for claims about the microbiome's impact on the self. So all things philosophical that have to do with what life is. I talked with her in my office, and we asked the question, are we alone? I'm a philosopher of science and biology, and uh, I'm interested in whether we can define life, and if so, how to think about the problem. How to think about the problem. Okay, and uh, are we alone? I don't know, um, but I think our understanding of life in the sense of what we are is relevant to answering that question. Um, so it's a hard question. I don't think it's one we can say yes or no to today. You know, as a philosopher, I'm interested in a philosopher of science. I'm interested in particular in sort of scientific concepts and how they help drive scientific inquiry. So I've been thinking a lot recently about the problem of defining life, um, which philosophers have thought about quite a bit and which is relevant in um, a number of scientific fields with a stake in answering questions like, are we alone? Um, so I think there's a lot of different competing definitions of life out there that people have argued about, and many of them are driving the search for life in the universe in various ways. So sometimes this is based um, purely on assumptions about what life on Earth looks like and trying to find other things that look like life on Earth. But there's this quite hard problem. Um, if we're going to answer the question, are we alone, by looking for instances of life on other planets, some people, like you said, think that there's you know, a universal biochemistry that must apply everywhere. So a reasonable strategy, if that's the case, would be to just look for other instances of that chemistry in the universe. Um, other people in this debate want to say that no life could have been different at the biochemical level even. So what we need is a more functional understanding of life in the sense of an understanding of life that abstracts away from the details of life as we know it on Earth and allows us to look for something that could be different in fundamental ways. I think that gets quite tricky because it makes sense in principle, but um, it's hard to know what kind of search criteria to design to look for something that's, say, um, a self-replicating evolving system that has completely different chemistry from what we're used to looking for. Now, have you seen the movie Contact? Yeah, Jodie Foster. Foster, yeah. Now, several times in that movie, they said, somebody naively asks, are we alone? And the answer comes back, well, if we are, it's an awful waste of space. So what do you think of that? Waste of space. That's what it said. Yeah. <laughs> Three times. Sure. <laughs> once um, when she's in bed with the guy at Arecibo, <laughs> once in the very beginning that her, that her father answers, right. and once at the end when a little 10-year-old girl comes up, to, or 10-year-old boy or something, says, are we alone? And she says, oh, well, if we are, it's an awful waste of space. Okay. I think that's very close to the end of the, the well, movie. Well, you've clearly seen it more times than I have. Yeah, I suppose, I mean, it's, you know, getting back to this intuition that uh, life must have gotten going many, many times. What's what's the point of having all these planets and chemistry if they're not going to give rise to biology? I think putting it that way presupposes that there's some higher purpose in some sense, which, um, which, I, which I disagree with. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that sort of comment comes from a place of wanting there to be some kind of higher meaning and order to things. Um, and again, not, not knowing the probabilities I don't know how to say how much of that space could have life on it and how much doesn't, but yeah, I think of that as a, as a scientific question.